Hello and welcome to my channel study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 9 programming assignments from 1 to 5 like I am doing for all the weeks. Okay. Uh, so please subscribe my channel if you get some help from these videos. Okay. Now uh, this is programming assignment 1 of week 9. Now in this programming assignment we have to write a suitable code to develop a 2D flip flop array with dimension 5 cross 5 which replaces all input elements with values 0 by 1 and uh, 1 by 0 like if this is the input then all the 0 will become 1 in the output and all the 1 will become 0 okay this is our task uh, now this is the sample test case okay now we have to click java here now here you have to write this code first i declared the 2d array uh, int error is equal to new int 5 cross 5 uh, now this is uh, a for loop i take the input as a string then i convert the string uh, into an integer and put every integer in the array now if the array element is 0 then i write uh, system.out.print1 that means i print 1 and if the array element is 1 that means else it will print 0 uh, and i uh, write this line uh, to uh, take the cursor to the next line like uh, it will uh, show in the next line this is the first line and this is the next line okay so this is the code so i will uh, give the link in the description uh, to uh, copy the codes okay now we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run now here you will see that compilation is passed public test cases one by one passed okay and then i have to click submit now here you will find that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed now this is programming assignment 2 of week 9 okay now in this assignment we have to complete the code to develop a basic calculator that can perform operations like addition subtraction multiplication and division now we have to use only double data type to store the calculated numeric values. We have to assume input uh, uh, to be integer data type and the output should be rounded using math.round function or method. Now take care of the spaces during the formatting the output and the calculator should be able to perform record operation on a minimum of two operands. Like if the input is 5 and 6 then the output will be 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. It can be uh, like if the input is 6 and 5 and 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. So this type of output can be there. Now we have to select Java here. Now this is the code, I declared three variable, double result uh, to store the result, uh, get operators to store the operator and int index uh, to know where the operator is. Now uh, this is the loop, this loop will uh, select that uh, what is the operator, it is plus or minus or multiplication or division. Uh, then uh, if the operator is plus, then result is equal to double operand 1 plus operand 2. Uh, so how I get operand 1 and operand 2 uh, by these two lines. So this is the code. Now at last I print it system.out.print uh, operand 1 plus uh, operator plus uh, operand 2 uh, plus mat.round result. Okay. Then I have to click save as draft. Then I have to click compile and run. Now here you will see that public test cases one by one passed. Okay. Then I have to click submit. Then here you will find that private test cases used for evaluation status is passed. Now coming to programming assignment 3. In this programming assignment, we have to write a Java program that utilizes the multi-threading to calculate and print the squares of numbers from a specified begin to a specified end. Now you will understand if you see the sample test case. Now if the input is 1, it will print the squares from 1 to 5 in the increasing order first, then in the decreasing order. Okay. Now if the begin, that means 9 is greater than 6, then it will print first in the decreasing order then in the increasing order okay but if the begin is less than um, end then it will print in the increasing order first then in the decreasing order okay so that's our task and it is a multi-threading related problem so if you uh, click java then here you will find in the main function uh, there is two thread one is thread one another is thread two okay now here in the run method you will see that here a hint is given some keyword should be added below okay so we have to uh, write a keyword that will be synchronized if you do not use synchronized then uh, the two thread will run simultaneously and uh, it will print uh, different numbers like if it is print 1 and 4 in the from the thread 1 then suppose it will print 25 and 16 uh, from thread 2 so you have to use public synchronized void run synchronized keyword you have to use uh, so if thread 1 got the key of this run method then first the thread 1 will be executed then after that thread 2 will be executed then you have to click save as draft then you have to click compile and run so now here you will find that passed 2 by 2 passed then you have to click submit now here you will see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed test case 1 passed test case 2 passed now this is programming assignment 4 
Now in this programming assignment, we have to complete the code segment to catch the exception in the following. If any occurrence of such exception occur. Now uh, your program should print uh, please enter valid data if there is any wrong uh, input. Okay. Uh, now here you can see the sample test cases. Test case 1, if the input is 2, it will print the square. That means if it is integer input, then it will print uh, the square of that specified input. And if it is not an integer, then it will print please enter the valid data okay now uh, you have to click here java now here is the code now you can see that a string number is equal to br dot read line that means this line will take the input from the user so from this line you have to put the this three line in the try catch block okay so here i write a try catch block this is the try block okay and inside the try block i will put this three line So I put the three line inside the try block. Okay. Then in the catch block, I have to write exception E. Then I have to write system dot out dot print ln. Sorry, I will write print because no next line will be needed. Uh, so system dot out dot print. Then please enter valid data. Okay. Please enter valid data then semicolon and here you have to remove this ln line okay now you have to click save as draft then you have to click compile and run now here you will see that public test cases 2 by 2 passed okay now you have to click submit now here you will find that the private test cases used for evaluation status are passed for the two test cases it is passed okay now this is programming assignment 5 the last programming assignment of week 9 now in this programming assignment we have to define a class point with members private double x and private double y and a constructor and one method now we have to uh, calculate uh, the distance between two point like here two point is 1 comma 1 and 0 comma 0 so the distance between two point will be 1.414 how uh, because we know that uh, the equation to find out the distance between two point is square root of x2 minus x1 square and y2 minus y1 square here x2 is 1 and y2 is 1 and x1 is 0 and y2 is 0 so 1 minus 0 square means 1 1 minus 0 square means 1 so root over 1 plus 1 means 2 that is 1.414 and here in the same way test uh, case 2 that is 0 minus 0 square means 0 5 minus 0 square means 25 and square root of 25 will give us 5 so here we have to write the code okay now if you see the instruction that is first we have to declare a class that is point okay so class point we declare class point now we have to write two variable one is private double x and one is private double y okay so <coughs> we have to write private double x and private double y so then we have to write the constructor that is public point double x and double y so i copy the constructor then here i paste it then we have to write this dot x is equal to x and this dot y is equal to y then we have to write the method so i copy the method uh, structure that is uh, public double distance point p2 okay i paste it here then we have to write we have to take two variables Suppose I take double d1 is equal to this dot x minus p2 dot x. Then here double d2 is equal to this dot y minus p2 dot y. Okay. Then now we have to return the answer. Okay. So we have to write the function. Now return math dot sqrt. It will give the square root of the number. So math dot sqrt. Then d1 into d1 plus d2 into d2 okay then semicolon then here we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run so i will give the code you can copy the code from there so compilation is passed 2 by 2 passed okay then we have to click submit then here you will find that private test cases used for evaluation status are passed so thank you for watching the video i will give the code in the description uh, and in the uh, pin comment okay uh, please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video thank you See you in the next video.